Keyboard Shortcuts is a useful feature that first appeared in iOS 5, but I have always felt that the lack of syncing between iOS devices as far as keyboard shortcuts are concerned was a major downfall to the feature. Fortunately, that issue has been resolved in iOS 6. Now, as you can see, all of my devices are in sync, and if I delete a shortcut on my iPhone 4S, watch what happens to the other devices there. You'll see that shortcut disappear just like that. On all the devices, it's gone. So they all stay in sync with the keyboard shortcuts, courtesy of iCloud. Now, I'm going to add a shortcut here. Let's just add a, uh, I don't know, what should I type here? Testing keyboard shortcuts. How about that? And then for the actual shortcut, I'll just put in, uh, I don't know. How about this? T, oops, T. KB, testing keyboard shortcuts. Okay, so I've added that. Now watch the other devices as they grab the information from iCloud. Right there, right there, and right there. So that is keyboard shortcut syncing via iCloud across all of my devices that are running iOS 6 right now. Now, say I disabled the documents and data feature, which is the iCloud property that the keyboard shortcuts use to stay in sync. So I've turned that off on my iPad and notice what happens now when I make a change on one of my other devices. I'm going to go ahead and add a test phrase here and a test shortcut. All right, I'm going to save that. Now watch on my iPod and my iPhone 4. Let's see what happens. All right, the test came on the iPod and the iPhone 4, but nothing happened on the iPad because I turned off the documents and data syncing. So you need to have that enabled in order to use keyboard shortcut syncing. It's that simple. So I deleted the TKB shortcut. You can see it disappeared from my iPhone and my iPod, but it still remains on the iPad because it's no longer in sync with the documents and data. So that is how you use keyboard shortcut syncing on iOS 6 with iCloud. I hope this was able to help you out. Again, if you're having problems with the syncing, just disable and enable the documents and data feature in iCloud and that should fix you up. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. This is Jeff with iDownloadBlog.